Are you thinking about renting in Irvine? Or you're trying to buy a home in Irvine, just can't find anything, so you probably need to rent first. In today's episode, we're gonna show you what is the latest expected rent in Irvine, California. Coming up. This is Regina Chen. I'm your local realtor right here in Irvine, California. On my YouTube channel, I receive a lot of comments, always a lot of questions asking about how much does one bedroom cost? How much does two bedroom cost? Well, during the pandemic time, not only on the home purchase market, it's very dynamic. The price appreciate a lot. It also impact on the rental market because a lot of buyers trying to buy, but it's just so competitive. It's really challenging to uh, secure a home uh, quickly. So a lot of buyer turn into uh, renter. That's why we're seeing even in the rental park, it becomes very competitive and days on market are super slow. Also, the rental is inching up every listing every week. Well, today I just want to show you if you're looking to rent, how does that look like for you? And also I want to offer a, a alternative in today's uber competitive rental market. Let's jump right in. Okay, I'm gonna share with you, take you to inside the MLS database to give you an idea how much two bedroom rental right now is on the market. Today, the recording day is January 22nd. So as of today, the total two bedroom active uh, rental listing is 35 homes. Come to think of it for the whole city, 35 uh, rental is actually not a lot. And also depends on your situation. If uh, you are a family, you have a school age kids, schools are important for you, then the kind of, I just wanna point out the certain area in Irvine, like here, you see that's where the John Wayne Airport is at. We call it airport area or Irvine district uh, business district. For this part of Irvine home, they're actually zoned for adjacent city, which is the Santa Ana Unified School District. It's not Irvine School District. So if you want a kids to go to Irvine District, you definitely want to uh, exclude that area. So if you take out that portion, you probably get down to probably 30 something home to uh, rental home to consider. Next things I also want to share with you out of those 35 homes, let's just get an idea how much is the going rate right now. If we sort it out from the list price, all right, so they are a lower one at a $25.50, but I would say right now for a good size with good parking situation, because sometimes not the home has two car garage, sometimes you have to uh, go with one car garage and one carpool or street parking. I would say right now the average going rent for two bedroom already come to $3,000. Uh, dollars and like I mentioned because the uh, uh, purchase market is so hot it's pushing like pushing pressure uh, giving put pressure on the rental market as well it's very competitive days on market actually it doesn't stay on market that long it moved very fast if you need a three bedroom we have slightly more choices today is 74 three bedroom listing in Irvine in terms of price point well I sorted based on the lowest price to the highest the lowest one is 3300 I would say that's actually a pretty uh, very good price compared to the market average uh, then again that one is in the older community of uh, Woodbridge uh, that's why I reflect on the price point. And on average, I would say three bedroom and uh, rental in Irvine, it's most like the uh, average around 3,600 to 3,800. If you go for newer community or larger sizes or something, if you want a, like a furnished one, it'll be a wider spectrum. Like see the highest one can go as high as 7,500 and it's way bigger, like 21, more than 21 square feet. If you need more bedroom, like a four bedroom rentals, uh, the lowest one today, 3850, but I would say average is hovering, four bedroom is hovering above $4,000. I know it's been a while since last time I shared with what's the going rent in Irvine. So hopefully you find the latest version uh, is valuable, it's helpful. Another alternative, so we're looking at all those like mom and pop or retail landlord or rental. If you are, for example, you need to uh, relocate to Irvine very quickly, because like I talked about, just mentioned Irvine, uh, the rental market is moving very fast, very competitive too. And also for those uh, mom and pop or retail tenant, uh, a landlord, they tend to take longer to review um, all those criteria, all those applications. So sometimes hard to 
have a certainty by when you can get an answer from this landlord. If the, in your situation you need to move in, relocate right away with certainty. Your other alternative is look into the corporate apartment style rental run by corporation. Most of the time in Irvine, or most of our apartment is owned by Irvine company. So if you decide to go with the Irvine company rental, the pros is that the application process is more streamlined because it's very standardized. They have a, a very straightforward, visible SOP. You can schedule a tour with the on-site rep and they'll have uh, and another good good thing is that um, they have more supply. So the, for the same floor plan, if you like certain floor plan, they'll have more uh, units or different location for you to choose from depends on availability. But on your one tour, you'll be able to look at several options to you. And the third point is that it gives you more certainty because if that home is available, you sign a contract, you will know exactly when your moving date is going to be. It's more convenient because when you rent a retail rental or from mom and pop landlord, you need to transfer all the utility services. So you pretty much if you're from out of state, you have to open an account with a local electricity vendor, water vendor, gas vendor, and you transfer and make sure all the services turn on. But with those corporate uh, rental run by uh, Irvine company, it's pretty turnkey. Well, but the trade-off will be uh, this kind of uh, apartment or condo is space-wide probably feel more cramped. It doesn't feel as homey as those uh, retail rental. And in terms of monthly rent, it's probably, it could be like higher apple to apple compared to those rental, but you pretty much pay for the convenience and uh, flexibility. Cause uh, just say you sign a contract, later on you want to cut the lease short or try to extend that, most apartment will be able to work with you. But of course at a, at a uh, cost. But when it comes to the retail landlord, you pretty much need to lock in an honor whatever contract you sign in. I think most the Irvine rental is now looking at the annual lease. If there's any other questions you have regarding Irvine life or my real estate, leave a comment below. I will try to answer that in the future videos. I'll talk to you later.